Okay, we'll do a bit of dirt like that, so that usually gets it visually confuses the audience, actually. Some people will tell you that the hardest philosophy ever written was by actually my favourite philosopher, who I, I understand about every fourth word. Gilles Deleuze, he dies in 1995, so it's appropriate to do it, he dies 20 years ago. What is so difficult is he tries to rethink the nature of time. He'll say, in your mind, there are three ways you understand what follows. There is the great if, then, 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 then of history. A causal chain by which one thing follows another as a snooker ball hits another ball. And so on and on and on and on and on into history. But Deleuze will say, your memory sets you free from history. Because do you not see Every event might be rethrown. Everything that happened could happen a different way. There is then in a synthesis of our minds that just reads and, 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 and I meant this, and I said that, and, and, and. But if you don't really understand what time is, you're going to have to rethink what is real. It's not you who has the events, you are merely its housing. Things happen through you, you don't happen in them, you only happen inside them. We need then to understand not just an and, and, and of who you might have been, but an either, or, 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 where those events that occupy your mind could always have been rethrown quite different. Open up onto different times, so that your life rides a magic carpet of events and treads a path between the worlds and into freedom once again. So that is a loose translation, very loose, of difference and repetition. Fair summary. I'll just see whether... Sh Anybody see Shane?